Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekah, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Hey, so last night at camp, you know, this, um, what perceived to be an Edomite came by. You know, he said, uh, "What did he say?" Oh, he was he was he was tripping out, man, over the garment that I had on. <laughs> you know, he was a little he was a little tipsy, but he was tripping out because I got you know my garments I have uh, them flared out and everything. He was like, he was like, man, I Star Trek. He, he couldn't get over it, right? So I started reading the scripture in the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse twelve, when it speaks about Yahweh Shai and what he looked like, what he wore, his skin color, uh, his texture of his hair. You know, wool, skin and wool, you know, hair of wool, you know, is white as snow, skin and bronze, because he looked like us, the so-called Negro. Because um, he's, he's, our, he's our brother, man. He's our, he's our, he's our Lord, you know. He's our God, Yahweh Bashem Hashem, man. Uh, and Yahweh looks exactly like him. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So, you know, this is, this is who we are. We're coming back to our heritage, right? So anyway, he was tripping, about, tripping out about it, and I read, you know, um, Revelations and everything, and uh, the garment about the, how the garment goes down to the to the foot. But anyway, before he left, you know, I was telling him about you know the Great Awakening and all that stuff. We didn't get too far with it, no, nor too deep with it. But before he left, he was like, "Hey, man, be careful." Be, he told me to be careful reading the Bible, because some people go in they get too deep in it, you know, and it, it messes messes them up, right? You know, they turn into fan, fanatics and freaks and stuff like that. You know, we we seen them. We seen these uh these uh so-called Bible thumpers, you know, they're going off, man. They're over righteous, and they they don't know you how about Shemasha. But the Lord, this is a because this is a spiritual thing. The Lord has definitely called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. We understand that we, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, are the Lord's chosen people. Everyone, all these other nations are are he are heathens, right? And they're going to be our servants in the kingdom of heaven, right? This is the true understanding of the Bible. The Lord's let the Lord's will be done. Right now, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which is Esau, Eden, the Caucasian race. All the, you know, all this, you know, all all of it is a balance, and all of it is is a gift of the Lord. The 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 to understand, you know, the books are unsealed at this time. Uh, the prophecies are are coming to pass. This is the end of Esau's kingdom, the end of his rulership. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to start it off with that because I I thought it was it was kind of uh, interesting, you know, the way he was very sincere. Man, be careful. You know, they 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 mess you up, man. Right? If you don't have the proper understanding, it will do that. It, 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 you know, because people they don't understand. Because it, what, what does the scripture say? The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It was given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Also, blessed are your eyes for for they see. You know, to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, and the words are plain. But if the Lord didn't reveal them to you. You're not going to understand it. If he didn't guide you under the tutelage of the elders, apostle of Great Millstone with their 100% truth, you're not going to get it. Because what does the scripture say? How can, I, how can I understand unless some man should guide me? Roughly paraphrasing. But anyway, um, I just want to make, make mention of that because I told him, I was like, man, that's perfect, bro. Because I said, we're, we're in the, we're, you know, this is the milk, man. Even the, even the big brothers and the elders and apostles always say, hey, just be one deep. You don't have to go both too deep because the milk. The milk of the scriptures are, are, you know, so much, man. And that's what brings us to this to this scripture right here. And I even quoted this last night as he was walking off. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter, in the Apocrypha chapter 3, verse 23. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. For more things are shown unto thee than men understand, bro. And this is a, this is a beautiful precept right here. And I want to start it. I want to go back to 21 and read down, okay? It says, seek not out things that are too hard for thee, right? So because the Lord has given, all, given us a portion of this understanding, a portion of faith, you know, the gift of knowledge, the Holy Spirit of understanding, and the elders, apostle, great millstone, and all the brothers under the umbrella to teach the Bible, to teach, you know, teach these things. So, hey, seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. You see men bug out. They're trying to be too deep. They tell me now they all, all of a sudden now they, they king, David. Or they the house of David, or the Lord didn't perform no miracles, or they don't need to know the name of the Lord. They're not. They're not. They don't have any fear of the Lord. You know, uh, they you calling on another name. They're going too far with it, bro. Too deep. But ultimately, that's the will of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, 
Good is set against evil, life against death. So it's the sinner against the godly, and the godly is against the sinner. And Lord willing, we are part of that 144 elect number understanding that, you know, they're destined for salvation. And the Lord willing, I, I can say we are destined for salvation. You know, that's what we, that's that hope. And hey bro, that's the hope of salvation that the Lord has blessed us with, this gift. You know, I um, wanted to quote uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. You know, Yahweh Shemashah has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation. And we got to believe that and hope that, okay? And that brings us to this epistle, which is going to be some, some, something uh, in the realm of, you know, to kind of understanding reincarnation. We're going to touch on it just, so, you know, just a little bit of, with the few, you know, bring out a few precepts about reincarnation. Um, because of this time, I want to kind of tie it into uh, this time that we're coming into, the time of Jacob's trouble. And, you know, just understanding life and death. So we won't be so afraid of the things that are about to happen. And then maybe, Lord willing, tomorrow we can get into a little bit more uh, of, you know, a little bit. I don't want to say deeper, but um, there was another, uh, right, fearing fearing of life and death, something like that. But today, just want to speak about reincarnation and uh, understanding that Yahweh Shemashai, you know, there is a judgment. There is a judgment for the things that we do in, 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 this, in this body. And this is this is the Lord's world, you know, and he's already set it up. He's given us a passage according to his own heart that's going to feed us with knowledge and let us know we're not alone and we uh, we're being watched and uh, just be a, you know because um, like I said the the title of this appeal is going to be something like uh, reincar understanding reincarnation kinda um, and the, uh, crushing that YOLO spirit you only live once spirit bam okay let's get into it bro seek not other things that are too hard for thee neither search the things that are above thy strength but what is commanded thee what is commanded thee bro you know and uh, the Lord is giving us straight commandments what we should do to avoid punishment in these last days when we wake up and remember that we that we are the Lord's chosen people the chosen Israel and you know he's given us law statutes, commandments to live by the book of life to the best of our abilities now we return we re we're rehearsing the righteous acts understanding that we're not justified by the by the law or keeping the law but by faith but at the same time, do we make void the law that iniquity may abound? God forbid, we establish the law. So we're rehearsing the righteous acts, being fearful of the Lord, doing, trying to do our very best to please you. How about Shemashah in these last days? Okay? And we're commanded to come out here and proclaim this word to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americanists. Give them warning from the Lord. Warning them. Hey, watch your repent. What does the scripture say? At least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Come back and learn who the Lord really is, understanding who he is. He is the word, the word made flesh. You know, just like uh, in any relationship, you come and you get to know somebody by being around them, learning what they like and what they don't like. And you you, you start to mold yourself and be like, OK, well, I know they don't like this. I'm not going to do that. Oh, I know they like this. so I'm going to do this. You know, that's that's real love. And the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments, you know. So but what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, understanding that the law is good, looking at this wicked world. Right now, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. How they've taken the laws and twisted them all and turned them upside down. They're not, they're not uh, abiding in the laws. They're not promoting the laws, but they're promoting wickedness. That anti-Messiah spirit. That you only live one spirit to do as thou wilt spirit. You know, so with all that in mind, you know, but what is commanded, they think thereof with reverence. We understand uh, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, and we love righteousness. You know, the Lord has blessed us to come back and understand and realize these things, to love the good, hate the good, the salaki, uh, hate the evil and love the good, right? For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. But it says, be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shown unto thee than men understand. So, you know, uh, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling, bro. Let's, come, let's go ahead and move it on. Let's see. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-two, verse thirty-nine. Um, That's another scripture I wanted to get to, um, based off of this. See, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, verse thirty-nine. Oh, I know which one I wanted to get. I wanted to get that other scripture. Let me bring it up now. Uh, in Hebrews eleven and six. That's right, Hebrews 11 and 6, bro. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. 
For he that cometh to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua must believe that he is. Okay, you got to believe that there is one true living God. You know, that's what we were speaking about that last night. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We were speaking about that last night. We I think we opened up with that. Uh, talking about something ar around the area. You know, live camp I was speaking about. Uh, opening up. And uh, speaking about being reborn. Being re reborn, coming back as a newborn babe. Forgetting all these things that we learned in the world. That things that we thought we knew about who God really is. And all these false doctrines and philosophies uh if i if i if i move all this stuff in the background look let me see you see all you see what they got it back here in this damn background damn easter eggs and shit you know because they're constantly promoting wickedness um you know we understand that this is the cel not you know celebration of ishtar uh a, a pagan holiday you know so that's part of being reborn understanding and believing and knowing you know what's what's true and what's not true, you know, knowing who you have Hashem Hashem really is, and you understand and do that by, you know, following the commands that the Lord has blessed us with. One is learning the true names of the Lord, right? Believing in Him, He is the Word, the Word made flesh. Believing in His prophets, the ones that He has on this earth to proclaim these words. What does the Scripture say? A faith. Um, so faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh by Shemasha, right? And, you know, you hear that word through the mouth of his prophets, starting with the elders, apostle, great millstone, and all the brothers on that umbrella. You know, just plain and simple. Come back, repent to those names when you learn the true names, Yahweh Almighty, his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Pray to those names, repent to those names, and continue to stay plugged into the 100% truth, you know, being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth, man. That's, you know. Uh, so, once again, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, understanding and believing that he is, you know, he exists. He created everything. Okay. It says, uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, see now that I even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie, bro. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. I wanted to put this in here. Um, once again, you know, only you only live once has been crushed with this 100% truth, with this gospel. Because we're speaking about reincarnation. So we understand that. Um, what's that scripture say? The uh, spirit. When the when when the spirit. Uh, hold on. Let me let me think where it is. Well, Um, hold on. Wait. Let me. Let me. Let me see if I can find that scripture. It's in Ecclesiastes. I know that. Okay, I know. Let's go over here, real quick. It's in Ecclesiastes, in the Bible, chapter twelve, verse seven. Twelve, verse seven. So let's speak about reincarnation, real quick. Um. So look, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh Shemasha who gave it. Right, so the, so when you die, you know they always say ashes to ashes and dust to dust when they put your ass in the ground. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God, Yahweh Shemasha. The spirit returns to the Lord. Um, and let me see. Uh, what does the scripture say? They put they're both at they're both at rest. So we I was speaking to this lady the other day. I was speaking to this lady the other the other day about um you know that this very thing that we're talking about. Okay, we're going to go get Job real quick. So look, once again, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto you. How about Shemashah? Who gave it? We want to go get Job real quick. So at the end, um, you know, we when we go back up to you, how about Shemashah? You get judged for what you did in your body down here. And in the third and fourth generation, you return to earth to live out your judgment here in the in the in the flesh you know because spirits you know your spirit your energy look this is um 
there be the wick there this is talking about the kingdom of heaven you know and of the place of of, of uh, when when the spirits go back up to the lord there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest they there the prisoners rest together they hear they hear not the voice of the oppressor the small and the great are there and the servant is free from his master okay wherefore is light given to him that is in misery and life unto the bitter in soul which lo which long for death but it cometh not and dig for it more we got we got to leave it right that's what i wanted right here speaking about um there you know when the spirit goes back to you how about you much the wicked cease from troubling because uh, you know the lord is the father of spirits so he created all things you know good and bad there the wicked cease from troubling you know and he's got uh, like this is his great movie just like any director okay I'm gonna direct you to be the homeless man you're gonna be the thief Judas Iscariot you're gonna be you're gonna be the one that betrays Yahweh you know uh, Esau Edom you're gonna be the devil that the Bible speaks of the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan here on the earth you're gonna be the adversary you're gonna be the sword you know you're gonna you're gonna be the hammer of the earth you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna uh, take peace from the earth. You're gonna be death, you know. And then Jacob, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you're gonna be my chosen people. All these other nations, they're gonna be heathens, you know. They're just, you know, they're 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 gonna be under you. At the end, they're gonna come and learn my laws from you, you know. The plain, the, the plain. All praises to Yahweh Shemasha, you know, the simplicity of the Lord Yahweh Shemasha. But we and now and then what we're reading right now is so, but. In in the in the spiritual realm, you know, hey, just hey, it's when you come down here, that's when you live out the roles that the Lord planned for you, okay? But in the spiritual realm, there the wicked cease from troubling. See, they don't run around. Esau don't run around up there fucking with nobody, and there the weary be at rest. You know, the the oppressed, there the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Okay, um, I want to go get another scripture before we move move on. Let's see, if we're gonna go back to Deuteronomy. So look, it's the Lord that does all these things. See now that I, even I, am He. There is no God with me. I kill. And this is the point right here. The Lord is the one that, that ultimately does the killing. The spirit, the, the scripture speaks about there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent. And I make alive. You know, if the Lord wants you um, to, to be raised up from death, he's the one, he does that. You know, he got the power to do that. He, he do it. I wound. If you want your ass to get fucked up, fall down some steps or something, break your leg, you know, chastise your ass in some, some way, give you some kind of affliction, some disease. I wound and I heal or he can heal you just like um, the story of Hezekiah you know he told Isaiah to go tell Hezekiah he was about to die Hezekiah started crying the Lord said you know he Hezekiah said Lord haven't I done everything to the best of my abilities you know haven't I did everything that I could possibly to, to please you and the Lord said you know what Isaiah go back in there and tell him I'm gonna add 15 years to his life see that I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right, right. How about Shemasha is all powerful, bro. So when you start to understand and believe these things, you have fear of the Lord. And also you you love the Lord. You, you get more understanding of the Lord. You understand his will be done. You understand good and evil. You know, and you want to do good. You want to do things to please the Lord. You, you understand his mighty power. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Once again, plain. Just like we were speaking about how, um, you know, uh, the Lord is the Father of Spirits. He's got He's got things set up. You know, He already He said, I declared the end from the beginning. Let's go get that scripture. Declaring the end from the beginning. Once again, uh, stemming from the understanding that there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent. Um, what's that? Is it Isaiah 46 and 10? Isaiah. Hold on. Where? I can't. Okay, there it is. Yeah. 
exactly declaring the end from the beginning you know so it once again speaking about this uh, being reborn with all this plantation Christianity and all these false philosophies and doctrines out here you know uh, with with you know with this misunderstanding of the spiritual demon Satan you know they they got in the in the, in the damn uh, false doctrine of plantation Christianity they're talking about how the devil was cast out of heaven he was an angel and he was cast out of heaven now he's the adversary of the Lord running around on the earth doing what he want to do no 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 this scripture right here tells you that the Lord is in full control of everything that happens on the earth because he's already declared the end that's why the scripture speaks about revelations that's why the scripture speaks about the devil being cast out of heaven bro you know, uh, we, and the devil's being cast out of heaven. Is speaking about Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, being cast out of their rulership, because the kingdom of heaven is about to be established, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying, "My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure, bro." The Lord is. This is the Lord's will. His His pleasure be done. Okay. Um. What the, I, was, I was thinking about another scripture. Hold on. Let me let me go see if I can find it real quick, bro. Got to clear my mind for just a second. It's dealing with reincarnation. It's uh, it's in Ecclesiastes as well. Shit, it's, it's it can't. I, it's, it escapes me right now, bro. I can't. I can't reach it. Let's go back and just let's just get get um. We'll, it'll come back to me, Lord willing. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay. Oh, I know. I know what it was. Um, uh, former things. Or not remembered. I think that's it. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Yeah, see? Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Let's go get it real quick. Just to, um, <clears throat> you know, finish up on that. On the spirit going back up to heaven. You know, to this. Uh, the, you know, when you die, your spirit goes back to the spiritual realm. And uh, you you uh, get your judgment and you come back down. There it is. You come back down. To earth to live out your judgment, okay? Uh, okay, and I'm glad we thought about that. One generation passed away, another generation coming, but the earth abide it forever. So the earth is going to abide forever, right? Um, and then we jump down here to verse 11. Now let's start at 9. And I just thought about another scripture. Hold on one second. Let me type it in. Okay. We got to have to open up another tab here. Hold on. Okay, uh, we got it right here. Because we were speaking about, come on, I hope it's the right size. Good. Right, we're going to start at right 15 after we get this other scripture here. So Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 11 real quick. There is no remembrance. Oh, no, no, let's do this one first. So, so it would be in order. Okay, <clears throat> so Salaki, bro, Salaki, man. You know, in the, just moving in the spirit, bro. Uh, so, all right, so once again, like we read earlier, when you're, when you die here on the earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We read it, how the, the body goes in the ground and your spirit goes to one that gave it, right? Uh, and then we read uh, how the souls are all together there. You know, in Job, we read Job. They, you know, the, the oppressor is not oppressing. They're not troubling you. They're all at rest there. The spirits. 
um, and right here it says moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment so under the sun here on earth that's where your judgment is played out that the wickedness was there okay and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there okay and I said in mine heart Yahweh shall judge the righteous and the wicked for there is a time for their purpose for every purpose and for every work okay and now we're gonna go get this in the, in the so under the sun there's judgment there on the you know and now we're gonna go back to Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 11 there is no remembrance of former things so when you come back when you come back down here speaking about this reincarnation you don't remember who you were in your past life okay there's no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Okay? Is there anything wherefore it may be said, see, this is new. It have been already of old time which was before us. Right. Talking about that. That's why the scripture in the book of Job say, tell me, I pray thee, whoever been, whoever born been, un, been innocent. And I should have started at nine. The thing that has been, what? The, the what? The spirit, the soul that has been, it is that which shall be. And there, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. That's why the strips of spirit, that's why I think in, um, I think in the, in the world, what do they speak about? Uh, you learn from history or something, learn from your mistakes. You should, or you should learn from history. You should, you know, so you're not repeating the same thing, but it's the same thing happening over and over again. Why? Because it's the same people, the same spirits here doing the same job that they're supposed to be doing. You know, they have set roles to play out here on the earth. You know, that's why the scriptures say, hey, Daniel, go stand in thy lot until the end of days. Oh, that's a perfect script to get right there. Let's go see if we can find it. Daniel, go stand in their lot. I think that's, um, is that Daniel 12 at the end of Daniel 12? Daniel 12. Yeah, here it is. Daniel chapter 12, verse 13. But go thy way till the end be. The end of the world. The end of this age. The end of this eon. The end of Esau's kingdom. This time that we're in right now. For thou shalt rest. He's going to. His, his 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 body goes into the ground and the spirit went back to the Lord where we where where they all rest at, right? We read it early in Job. And stand in thy lot at the end of days. You're gonna come back and you're gonna start you're gonna do exactly what you've always done because you're a spirit created to do this. This is your job here on the earth. You know, you're you know, uh, what does the scripture say? The uh, spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to come back as prophets Like that's why the, the big brothers and the elders always say You know you don't rent, You know like they Like those heathens talk about I think in India or something you, you, Reincarnation You come back as an insect or a bird or something No you kind of come back as the same spirit The same spirit Doing the same thing You know that's why the scriptures say He that is He is uh, Let's go get it real quick Let's read this Daniel one more time real quick But go thy way Till the end be Right, for thou shalt rest. You're gonna lay down. Your body gonna go to the to the ground. Your spirit gonna go up to to your house shy to your house shy, and you're gonna come back after the third and fourth generation and stand in thy lot at the end of days. So, and shit, what was the strip we just talked about getting, bro? Man, this brain. We need those new bodies, man. Lord have mercy. Oh, I know. Um, Revelations 22 verse 11. You know, that's what scripture speaks about. He, hey, he that is unjust, hey, let him be unjust still. Because uh, this thing of salvation for the 144 elect is predestinated from the foundation of the earth. Why? Because they're going to be doing the same things that they always did. Lord willing, we're part of that number. And Lord willing, we're doing the things that, you know, that lead to everlasting life, bro. Putting on as the elect. Having faith in this written word. He that is unjust. Hey let him be unjust still. Because he has no other choice. Whoever whoever resisted the will of the Lord. The father of spirits. And he that is filthy. Let him be filthy still. That's why the scriptures say. My sheep hear my voice. And they follow me. And I know them. And I'm going to give them eternal life. Because it's already written. Declare the end from the beginning. But let him that is filthy. Be, be filthy still. 
And he that is righteous, there we go, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, separate, set apart, let him be holy still. You know, not being a part of this wicked ass world or this wicked ass agenda. So going back to this understanding of that, hey, you only live one spirit. That's a that's a that's a uh, anti messiah spirit, bro. Uh, because what we're reading now, you is that, that's not true, right? So we're reading now. It is it's, it will behoove you to fear the Lord and and uh, and and uh, you know do all you can to come back to His good graces. It's that grace period to return to the Lord, understanding what what we what we've done in the past, you know, and trying to atone for that. Okay. Uh, and walking uprightly in these last days in this grace period just like um, brothers always speak about hey this grace period is you know, like if you get a, a a telephone bill or or a past due light bill you got a grace period to come and pay that shit off before they take take your shit off so the lord's going to turn your lights off in in a, you know in a polite way if you don't get get your shit if you don't get under the you know if you don't come back to the lord and do the things that are right you know for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahusha, that everyone may re receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or whether it be bad, bro. Period. Plain. Isn't that plain? Knowing the terror, now or knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest until Yahweh and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. So, hey, we're telling you right now. The Lord has got some real bad judgments planned for those stiff-necked, wicked-ass Israelites that don't want to repent to the one true living God. Because what? Salvation is of the Jews. Okay? Not for the whole world. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember thou creator. Remember now thou creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Okay? While the sun or the or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, right? Because um, the Lord's planning on sending nuclear warheads over here. We just read it last night at the live camp. The Lord's gonna He's planning on sending nuclear warheads over here in the height of World War Three to destroy Babylon the Great, A.K.A. America. And we're hoping to be beamed up by those chariots, the so-called UFOs, at that time. Uh, plus. You know, the Lord has uh, has has appointed four sore judgments, you know, as well on Babylon the Great. Uh, teeth of wild beast, you know, the famine of food, the sword, which is Esau eating the gun, the, you know, bunch of chaos. He's got concentration camps out here, uh, beheadings. It's, it's you know, uh, newly created creatures, aborigines. It's going to be bad out here, man. People breaking into your homes for lack of bread, trying to kill each other. The implementation of the MARK where you won't be able to buy and sell. Everything's about to go f get messed up, man, because it's judgment upon Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And, you know, those that are wise are going to seek the Lord. You know, uh, what does the scripture say? A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hiding himself. While the sun or the light or the moon and the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after, after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, right? And that's happening right now with the economy going haywire, right? And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders shall cease because they are few. All these jobs are being, everybody's being laid off. Uh, this is the end of a kingdom. And those that look out the windows be darkened, right? There's no future here in Babylon the Great. Or in the world for that matter because it's the end of an age. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of birds and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Now his brother just did an epistle about this just the other day. You know, all these songs are for shit these days. Talking about doing drugs or be, uh, promoting wickedness. Okay. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and the desire shall fail, because men go to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets. Or even the silver cord be loose, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the foundations, or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth, okay? Yep. As it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh Shemashai, who gave it, bro. 
So vanity, vanity, said the preacher. All is vanity. Everything in this world is vanity. You know, we, we understand that, you know, in this world right here, you know, this world, well, like the stripper said, this world passes away. But he that doeth the will of the Lord abide forever. We're talking about the promise of salvation and also um, the promise of everlasting life. This is the, the kingdom of heaven is about to be established, my man. You know, so we're making ourselves a living sacrifice at this time, coming back, believing in the, in the, in the Lord, Yahweh Shem HaShah, forsaking this world and everything that's in it. The Lord said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. You know, just being, doing what the Lord has commanded us to do at this time. Under, loving the good and hating the evil. You know, turning away from this wicked world. Understanding what's, what's right and, and doing it, bro. Okay, so... Um, I want to get. I think I want to get one more. I'm going to close it out, okay? Not to make the epistle too long, because I think the poem's made. Hey, they're crushing that YOLO spirit, bro. I wanted to go get uh, Ecclesiasticus, and that would make that. Oh yeah, this is a perfect one to end it on. And then, Lord willing, you know, the next epistle we'll talk about a little bit more about the fear of life and death, because we're going to need to let it all go during, during this time of Jacob's trouble and have faith in the Lord. That his will be done, okay? If, if the Lord is going to deliver us, just like Daniel said, he will, you know, but we're not going to bend or bow the knee because we understand and we believe, right? Going back to, hey, not seeking out the things that are too hard for thee, but at the same time having a balance of understanding and trust and belief in the in Yahweh Shemashah, believing, hey, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, believe that he is. And he's rewarded them that diligently seek him. So let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is what life is all about, bro. And it all makes sense right now. All praise to Yahweh Shemashah for this truth. Fear Yahweh Shemashah. Because what? He kills and he make alive. He wound and he heal. Okay? He's in control of all these things. He formed the light. He created darkness. You know, he's able to keep you safe from harm. Or, you know, like the strippers say, fear him that... Don't, you know, fear not him that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy both body and soul in what? In hell, in this place of judgment under the sun. Okay? Have you fucked up in a fucked up body, cripples, or paralyzed or some shit? Somebody got to wipe your ass for you? Or have you been chased down every damn day? Or, or, or locked up in somebody's basement being tortured? Huh? There's all kind of, man, bro. This time of Jacob's trouble, you, you be all jacked up somewhere? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Please, Lord, Lord, have mercy on us. So let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Hashem and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is all we're supposed to be doing. What? Once again, once again, that reincarnation spirit, once again, understanding that you've been watched, you, everything's being recorded, what you do, or what we do. For Yahweh Shemashah shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, bro. So we want to do the things that are most pleasing to the Lord to the best of our abilities, having faith in the Lord, first and foremost, and asking the Lord for mercy, asking him to put the spirit on us to do things that are pleasing to him and to forgive us because we are just nothing but some damn filthy ass rags, bro. So, hey, crushing that YOLO spirit, understanding reincarnation. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rikah, Kwadash. want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all.